Nothing like a folk song is this. Who'd want to be a ploughboy whistling o'er the lee, or a miller, or a milkmaid, living rurally when the weary way to toil can be lightened by the sound of the hissing of the iPod as it sings its merry round to the yokel on his mobile who'll lustily refrain from moderating volume whilst discoursing on the train and when the newborn sun illuminates the runes that are sprayed on the station wall it's then my heart is filled with gratitude for blessed urban sprawl. So who needs the song of the throstle on the lark and the fragrance of new mown hay? When there's the bleeping and scent of the stale bin wagon at the start of the working day. At the start of the working day. And when the sun is clomping to his zenith in the sky, as the shepherd breaks his pasty to feast, then so must I. But no sparrow pie for me when I dine. I fill my cheeks with fries and a mcchickwich, so I still get claws and beaks. And mercifully no more are we called upon to see the drunkard with his flagon lying underneath a tree, because imbibers today sit neatly on the bench calling cheerily to you. As they quaff from hygienic, hermetically sealed tins of Carlsberg special brew. So who needs the song of the throstle and the lark when he can watch the sport and play? Of the skateboarding retards who swoop around the churchyard graves in the middle of the day. Yard graves in the middle of the day. With no need for the toll of an elf a parting day, I hear the traffic build and then I know I must away, so I join in the animated bustle of the throng, and anticipation builds because you know it won't be long before a gentleman who's short of some money for the train, a cost you for assistance with his doggy on a chain, and as it snarls one inch from your face and you perchance remark its size. He'll firmly reassure you that it's just a leggy staffy, and you can't prove otherwise. So who needs the song of the throstle and the lark as he homeward treads his way? When there's beggars and muggers to sharpen up his wits at the end of the working day. At the end of the working day. When the moon smiles down in benign and mute delight, the city is adopted by its guardians for the night, and with Diana off a hunting, we'll gallivant with Bacchus, there'll be nightclubs to seduce us, and bouncers to attack us, and we'll have a dance or fight, or both, but never fear. Our revels will be sealed with a curry chips and beer, and if the earth should seem to roll and pitch and yaw, she's just giving you a sign. It's time to find a salubrious retreat. <coughs> Barclay's doorway should do fine. So who needs the song of the throstle and the lark as the velvet turns to grey? And the dawn lights up a kaleidoscope of puke To welcome another day To welcome another day Seth's whole shop would be proud. <laughs>